हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज एन थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स टुडे वी लर्न अबाउट द इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक पोटेंशियल इन दिस यूनिट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी लाइन इंटीग्रल ऑफ ए इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल पोटेंशियल एंड पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल ड्यू टू द सिंगल पॉइंट चार्ज इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल ड्यू टू द ग्रुप ऑफ द चार्जेस इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल ड्यू टू एन इलेक्ट्रिक डायपोल इक्वी पोटेंशियल सर्विस एंड देयर प्रॉपर्टीज इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक पोटेंशियल एनर्जी एंड न्यूमेरिकल्स बेस ऑन द टॉपिक्स लेट एस स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट आर्टिकल ऑफ दिस लाइन इंटरगल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड या वर्क डन बाई द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड the line integral of a electric field means negative line integral of a electric field represent the work done by the electric field on a unit positive charge in moving it from the one point to the another another in the electric field consider this a q is a positive charge it produces an electric field a and in that electric field the test charge your unit positive charge it is a move from the point a to b so this is the amount of work done work done by the electric field on the unit positive charge moving it from one point to the another in the electric field so this is the denoted by work done a to b equal to integration of a dw equal to minus this line integral a to b e dl this is the work done and q not here this is the test charge or this is the in place of the unit positive charge so this is a force experienced by this a test charge q not in the electric field produced by the q positive charge this equal to q not into e this is acts in a outward direction this force is in a radially outward direction uh, uh, and to prevent this acceleration is e equal an opposite force minus q not e has to applied on the test charge so total work done by uh, uh, total work done by electric field on the test charge moving a to b this is work done a to b equal to minus line integral a to b e dl equal to e equal to this is a electric field produced by this charge e equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon not q divided by r square by substituting the values 1 by r square the integration is a, a taking the integration by of a 1 by r square is equal to minus 1 by r so by after the simplification this work done equal to q1 q q q not 4 pi epsilon not in the bracket 1 by rb minus 1 by re this equation shows that the work done in moving the test charge q not from point a to another point b along the any path ab in the electric field due to the charge positive charge depends only on the position of these points and independent on the actually path followed by between a and b that is a line integral of electric field is a path independent this is a path independent therefore electric field it is a conservative field line integral of electric field over the closed path is zero so this is equal to zero then electric potential this is a electric potential it is defined as electric potential is a physical uh, physical quantity which determine the flow of the charge from the one body to another body it is a physical quantity that determines charge that physical quantity that determines degree of the electrification of the body the electric potential at a point in a electric field is defined as the work done moving without any acceleration a unit positive charge from infinity to that point against the electrostatic force of respect in respect of the path followed so what is the electric potential at a point is defined as electric potential at a point 
in an electric field is defined as work done moving without any acceleration unit positive charge from infinity to that point again the electrostatic force in respect of the path followed so amount of work done to bring unit positive charge from infinity to that point without any acceleration this known as a electric potential at that point so work work a to b is you got edl from this previous formula so work, this q not is a taken it divide by with this is a work done a to b per unit test charge q not equal to q 4 pi epsilon naught 1 by r b minus 1 by r a according to the definition this r a point is at a infinity so r a is taken as a uh, this a point is it at a infinity and the distance is a r a equal to infinity and b point it is in a r distance so where r is a distance from the source charge and point of a consideration then amount of work done from infinity to that point b per unit test charge equal to q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught divided by r so this equal to v this known as a electric potential so electric potential v is equal to work done to bring the unit positive charge from infinity to that point b per unit test charge the SI unit of the electric potential is a work is a joule per coulomb yeah newton meter per coulomb the electric potential at a point electric potential at a point is one hold if one joule of a work is done in moving the one coulomb of the charge from infinity to that point in the electric field this is the definition of the electric potential is said to be one hold if work done is a one joule moving the one coulomb charge from infinity to that point in a electric field this known as a one hold then electric potential difference electric potential difference between the any, any two points in the electric field is defined as the definition of the electric potential that work done moving without any acceleration a unit positive charge from one point to the another against the electrostatic force in respect of the path followed means this is amount of work done electric potential means amount of work done moving the unit positive charge from one point to the another point without any acceleration this in respect of the path followed means it is a conservative force this known as the electric electric potential difference so this equal to electric potential difference uh, work done a to b moving the te unit test uh, positive charge a to b per unit test charge equal to one q divided by four pan epsilon naught one divided by r b minus one divided by r a this is a separating the multiplying this term to this uh, individually it becomes say pb minus va so this is the potential difference between the two point b and a equal to work done moving the positive charge unit positive charge a to b per unit charge so electric potential and potential difference are the scalar quantity both this electric potential and electric uh, potential and potential difference both are the scalar quantity electric potential at a infinity is a zero electric potential at infinity it is a zero electric potential near the isolated positive charge is positive and near to the isolated negative charge it is a negative cgs unit of the electric potential is a stat hold uh, one stat hold is equal to one arc per side coulomb electric potential due to the single point charge so this is the q plus q this positive charge is placed and it produces the electric field it is in a outward direction this is the direction of electric field produced by this discharge and 
we have to find out the electric potential due to the single point charge this is a single point charge and we have to find the electric potential at a point p which is a x distance from the charge the q naught be the test charge placed at a point p this is the q is a, a q naught is a unit test charge uh, placed at a point p which is x distance from the source charge this is the source charge so the force experienced this uh, by this test charge f is equal to q naught e it is a outward direction because these are the positive this also unit positive charge so it is a outward direction so to prevent the acceleration equal and opposite force this minus q naught e has to apply on the test charge to prevent because this a uh, amount of work done moving the unit test charge without any acceleration to prevent the acceleration equal and opposite charge on the test charge minus q naught e has to be applied on the test charge so work done moving the q naught from p to q this is a moving p to q this is a distance is a small distance dx so work done equal to f into force into the displacement displacement is a dx so showing the value of the f naught uh, this f force q naught e into dx so this equal to q naught e dx the angle between force and dx this force is a this direction and displacement is a opposite direction angle between them is a 180 degree so this equal to cos 180 is a minus 1 so q minus q naught e dx so dw equal to substitute the value of the force this is a coulomb's law force between these two charge q q naught 4 pi epsilon naught and separation distance is a x square into dx therefore by taking the integration it will be a electric field e is equal to q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught this value is a substitute so total work done move to move q naught from a to b from infinity to r is amount of work done moving a unit test charge from infinity to that point b equal to infinity to distance r q q naught four divided by four pi epsilon naught x square dx equal to minus q q naught four pi epsilon naught infinity to r one by x square into dx by taking this integration integration of 1 by x square is a minus x 1 by x or substituting this is a limit infinity to r this becomes a work done per unit test charge by dividing this equal to q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into r and this is the formula for the potential electric potential due to the single point charge v is equal to q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r so this is the scalar quantity and this is a potential due to the single point charge then electric potential due to group of charges if there are the large number of charges let's say q1 q2 q3 q4 and q1 and they are placed we have to find out the electric potential at a point p and q1 is at a distance r1 r2 r3 r4 and rn these are the charges are placed we have to find out the electric potential at a point p so not net electric potential at a point in an electric field due to the group of the charges is algebraic sum of the individual potential at that point this is the algebraic sum of the individual potential at that point means potential due to q1 at this point plus potential due to q2 plus potential due to the q3 and similarly so on so potential at point p equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 plus dash dash vn so v is equal to then 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught i summation i is equal to 1 to n q i divided by r i means this is sum of a all the individual potential at that point due to the each charge 
so electric potential at a point due to the point uh, due to the charge is not affected presence of the other charges means potential due to this one particular charge it will not affect the presence of the other charges so potential is a directly proportional to the 1 by r whereas coulomb's force is is directly pro sorry potential is a inversely proportional 1 by r whereas coulomb's force is also one inversely proportional to 1 by r square potential is a scalar whereas force is a vector 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 quantity although potential is called as a potential at a point it is actually equal to the potential difference between the between the point r and infinity electric potential due to the electric dipole so what is the dipole you we learned in a previous lecture the uh, electric dipole two equal and opposite charges separated by small distance so minus q and this plus q these are separated by small distance is a 2l and we have to find the electric potential due to the electric dipole on the axis axial line this is a on the axis of this a dipole the p is a dipole moment it always represent negative charge to the positive charge this is a dipole moment and p is the point where we have to find out the potential due to this a dipole then axial line so potential at a point p due to this a plus charge plus q charge equal to this formula 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by distance distance is a it is a from the center of the dipole so total length of dipole is 2l and so this length is divided in two equal parts l and l and point p is a b to p this distance equal to total distance from the center is x minus this l so this is x minus l so potential at p due to this positive charge equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by x minus l similarly potential at this uh, point p due to this a uh, minus charge at a equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught minus q divided by this is the x and plus l x plus l so potential at point p equal to potential at p due to the positive charge and potential due to the negative charge adding these two when we add it then p is potential at point p equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon q dot l divided by x square l square so potential at a point p equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon di p divided by x square minus l square in this case the uh, length of dipole is a very small and distance when it is a large then we can neglect this l square then potential due to it, it will become a potential at point p 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught p divided by x square similarly we can find out the potential at the equatorial line so this is a dipole minus q and plus q separated by a distance 2l and o is a midpoint of the dipole so this distance is a l and this also l it is denoted here and q is the point on the equatorial line of this dipole which is at a distance y from the midpoint of the dipole and this is the a o this distance is l and b o this also the l so we can find out the electric potential due to this a plus q charge at q point q equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by bq bq is this is the distance similarly potential at point q due to this minus charge equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught minus q potential due to this this charge divided by aq aq is a this is the distance so total charge at this total potential at 
पॉइंट क्यू इक्वल टू पोटेंशियल ड्यू एट पोटेंशियल एट क्यू ड्यू टू दिस ए क्यू चार्ज प्लस पोटेंशियल एट क्यू ड्यू टू दिस ए माइनस क्यू चार्ज सो एडिंग दिस टू पोटेंशियल्स ए ए क्यू इक्वल टू बी क्यू दिस डिस्टेंस इज सेम सो दिस विल कैंसल सो पोटेंशियल एट क्यू इक्वल टू जीरो सो नेट इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक पोटेंशियल एट ए पॉइंट इन ए इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ड्यू टू एनी इलेक्ट्रिक डायपोल एट एनी पॉइंट ऑन द इक्वेटर लाइन इज ए जीरो दिस इज ए जीरो पोटेंशियल एट ए पॉइंट ऑन ए इक्वेटर लाइन ड्यू टू द डायपोल इज ए जीरो then equipotential surface equipotential surface means equi matlab equal potential so surfaces where the potential is equal so surface at every point of which potential due to charge distribution is same is called equipotential surface matlab means potential over the surface is a same or yeah, equal this known as a equipotential surface For example, uniform electric field is indicated by the parallel lines having equal spacing means uniform electric field is denoted by in this direction. In this case, this perpendicular to the electric field plane perpendicular to the electric field is a potential V1, and all the surface the potential is a equal. All the surface potential is this is equipotential surface. Another this and consider the another surface V two is the equal potential on this surface. Similarly, V three is the equal potential on this surface. As we go to in the direction of electric field, the potential potential goes on decreasing. Means potential V one is greater than V two is greater than V three. So this plane equal plane perpendicular to the direction of electric field. It is a representation of a equal potential due to the electric field similarly the isolated charge the electric field along this direction so this is a, this is a spherical surface sphere have a equal distance sphere of taking the some r distance hai ki equal potential surface for the isolated charge this is a sphere means potential over the sphere This equal, this sphere also equal, this is equal, and you put this a sphere of different radius having a potential is a equal, so this is known as equipotential surface. Then properties of the equipotential surface is no work is done moving the test charge from the one point to another on the equipotential surface. So this is a Potent potential difference between the two points A and B, P A V P equal to work divided by Q naught. Potential equal is equal means difference is zero and work done equal to zero. This potential same work done equal to zero means no work done, no work is done moving a test charge from one point to the another over the equipotential surface. Another property. Electric field is always perpendicular to electric field is always perpendicular to the element DL of the equipotential surface. Electric field always perpendicular to the surface of the equipotential surface. So that is since no work is done over the equipotential surface because E DL E DL this is the theta equal to ninety degree. So means cos ninety is zero. So work done equal to zero. Equipotential surface indicate the region of a strong or weak electric field. The equipotential surface surfaces indicate the region of strong or weak electric field. Electric field is defined as a negative potential gradient. So electric field is equal to negative potential gradient means dV by dr or dr equal to dV. Minus dV by E. Since dV is a constant, equipotential sur on the equipotential surface, so dr is a inversely proportional with the electric field. If it E is a strong or large, dr will be a small. 
and separation of the equipotential surfaces will be smaller and equipotential are crowded and vice versa. Two equipotential surfaces cannot be intersect each other. It is similar to the properties of the electric line of force. Two electric line of force, they never intersect similarly. Two electric equipotential surfaces, they never intersect. Suppose these two equipotential surfaces crosses each other, then at the same point, there will be two direction of electric field. It is not a possible. Different two crossing surfaces show the different direction of electric field. At the same point, it is not possible. So they never intersect with each other. Then electrostatic potential energy. The electrostatic potential energy is defined as a work done in moving the charge Q from infinity to that point in the field against the electrostatic force is called as electrostatic potential energy. So work done equal to charge into the potential. The electrostatic potential equal to charge into the potential work done equal to charge into the potential and this work done is stored is a is the same as the electrostatic potential and work done in moving test charge q from infinity to the point in the field against the electric force is called as the electrostatic potential energy so electrostatic potential energy of two charge system Q1 and Q2, these are the two charges. So electrostatic potential energy in a two charge system E is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught. Q1, Q0 divided by this is position vector R2 minus R1. Or this is U equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught. Q1, Q2 divided by R1. R2. This is the potential energy. Then some electrostatic potential energy due to three charges. Then this sum of this equal to U equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon Q1, Q2 potential energy of a first two charges. Potential energy of first and third, second and third, this so on. Potential N charges, this will be the formula. So this is all about the theory of the potential energy. Potential energy is a vector quantity and this is a, sorry, potential energy is a scalar quantity and it denoted V is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught Q divided by R. So potential energy is inversely proportional to the distance. Let's just discuss some numericals based on the uh, topic. Two point charges Q and my, uh, Q and Q, 4Q and Q are separated by distance 1 meter in air. 4Q and Q is separated by 1 meter distance in air. At what point on the line joining the charges is the electric field intensity is a 0? Actually, this is related to the previous lecture. And second question is also calculate the electrostatic potential energy of a charge if q is equal to 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 coulomb this question is asked in a 2008 compartment first part this is 4 q and q charge they are separated by a distance 1 meter both are the positive charge so electric field due to this first charge 4 q it is away from the charge e1 and the electric field due to the Q charge is also away because both are the positive charge. So this at the considered at the point P, which is the X distance from the 4 Q charge where electric field it is a zero on the axis of the line joining these two charges because these two electric fields equal and opposite not equal, but they are opposite in direction. Means definitely the electric field may is a zero on the axis of the these two charges so let x be the distance of point p from the 4q where electric field intensity is a zero so if you have electric field is zero means sum of these two electric fields this is a vector quantity e1 plus e2 equal to zero or 
E1 and E2 are oppositely directed in magnitude E1 equal to E2. It is an opposite direction magnitude E1 equal to E2 means equal to ER. What point line joining this star electric field intensity is a zero? So this is a substituting this value electric field one divided by four pi epsilon zero q divided by r square. This is the formula. But but in in case of the q it, here the four q and distance at four uh, q from the point p is x. So it is written written as x square. And this distance is a one divided by four pi epsilon not q divided by one minus x square this is four one by four pi epsilon not get cancelled here q is also get cancelled the remaining term four divided by x square equal to one divided by one minus x square taking the square root of it by cross multiplication it we can say x square equal to four one minus x square taking the square root of it both the side then x plus minus two one minus x if we take the positive sign then x is equal to x is equal to this two by three meter and if we take this negative sign the x is equal to two two meter means this both the point this electric field intensity will be a zero due to this charge then what is the also calculate the electrostatic potential energy of the charge if q is equal to 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 coulomb so electrostatic potential energy u equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon q1 q2 divided by r square so here q1 is a 4q and q2 is a q and separation distance is 1 meter by substituting these values this a value of the 1 by 4 pi epsilon is equal to 9 into 10 raised to 9 4 q and charge is given as a 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 square divided by distance is a 1 meter so 1 square so answer will be 1.44 into 10 raised to minus 3 joule the electrostatic energy the unit is a joule then another question two charges 5 into 10 raised to minus 8 coulomb and minus 3 into 10 raised to minus 8 coulomb are located at a 16 centimeter apart these two charges separated by 16 centimeter apart at what point on the line joining of the two charges electric potential is a zero take the potential take the potential at infinity to be zero so this is the these are the two charges one the positive charge and this is the negative charge so the electric potential zero at an x distance from the this is the positive charge so let point p be the line joining the charges q1 and q2 at a x distance or x distance from the charge q1 so potential at point p this is zero means sum of this this is a scalar quantity sum of the v1 plus v2 equal to zero by substituting this value potential 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon q divided by r and another charge is at a, uh, q divided by r2 and this will get cancelled by taking this into the other side of this equation and then q1 divided by r1 plus q2 divided by r2 what is the r r1 is a x means it is in a centimeter so multiply it to 10 raised to minus 2 it becomes in meter r2 16 minus x this also in centimeter convert into the meter this values are substituted and by cancelling the terms there's a x is equal to 10 centimeter means from the 10 centimeter from the first charge the potential will be a zero let us discuss the another question two charges 2 micro coulomb and minus 2 micro coulomb are placed at a point A and B 6 centimeter apart. So say plus 2 micro coulomb and minus 2 micro coulomb, they are separated at a distance 6 centimeter. Identify the equipotential surface of the system. And another question is what is the direction of the electric field at every point on this uh, surface? Equipotential surface, this is a plus charge and this is a minus charge. So potential somewhere 
और दीज आर इक्वल एंड अपोजिट चार्ज मीन्स पोटेंशियल एट दिस मिड पॉइंट ऑफ दिस लाइनिंग दिस टू चार्ज देयर पोटेंशियल विल बी ए जीरो सो कंसिडर ए पॉइंट पी पी बी द पॉइंट जीरो पोटेंशियल आर लेट ओ बी द लोकेशन ऑफ द चार्ज क्यू इक्वल टू टू माइक्रोकुलम एट द ओरिजिन ऑफ कॉर्डिनेट सिस्टम देन डिस्टेंस आर वन दिस पी इज अ पॉइंट विच इज ए वाई डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ द लाइन ज्वाइनिंग दिस टू चार्जेस एंड एक्स इज अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ दिस पॉइंट दिस पॉइंट एंड दिस इज डी माइनस एक्स सो वॉट इज द आर वन यूजिंग द पाइथोगोरस वी कैन आर वन इक्वल टू अंडर रूड एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस वाई स्क्वेयर एंड आर टू इज इक्वल टू डी माइनस एक्स ब्रैकेट स्क्वेयर प्लस वाई स्क्वेयर इन ए अंडर रूट दिस इज आर टू एंड डी इज इक्वल टू सिक्स सेंटीमीटर इज गिवन कन्वर्ट इन टू द मीटर सो पोटेंशियल एट ए पॉइंट पी ड्यू टू द क्यू वन चार्ज एंड क्यू टू चार्ज इज गिवन बाई पोटेंशियल एट पॉइंट पी पी ड्यू टू दिस क्यू वन वन डिवाइड बाई फोर बाई एफ नॉट क्यू वन डिवाइड बाई आर वन ये डिस्टेंस और पोटेंशियल एट पी ड्यू टू दिस दिस सेकेंड चार्ज इक्वल टू वन डिवाइड बाई फोर बाई एफ नॉट क्यू डिवाइड बाई आर टू equal to zero by simply by substituting these values and simplifying these terms this will get cancelled by transferring this in this side uh, equal to side other side of the equal to and this also same that get cancelled the remaining term will be uh, this take the square of this both the sides it becomes uh, x square plus y square equal to d minus x bracket square y square so x is equal to 3 cm so plane is passing through the midpoint of the line joining ab has a potential zero at a prepare so what is the direction so this is a point uh, this plane passing through this point where potential is zero and electric field always perpendicular to direction of the plane of the surface so it is represented in this way one more question that uh, a cube of a side b has a charge q this is a a b c c d e f g h this is the cube of side is a b and charge q is a pl place on each vertices of the cube determine the potential and electric field due to the this charge array at the center of the cube what is the potential and electric field at the center of the cube consider this a b c d e f g h is a cube sides sides b and the length of the diagonal of the cube equal to under root b square plus b square plus b square equal to under root 3b this is the diagonal of a length of the diagonal and distance of the center of this diagonal from the each vertex is a half of the diagonal so this is the center so 3 by root 3 by 2 b potential at o due to the charge on each corner potential equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon or charge divided by distance so distance of each charge from this equal corner equal to root 3 b by 2 this the by simplify this this two we can say 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon 2 q divided by under root 3 into b so net potential at o to all the eight charges at the corner of the cube equal to 8 into this value so this will be a total potential at the center of the cube then electric field all these charges are the positive charges at the each vertex of the cube so the electric field produced at the o due to this say two to charges at the corner of the cube is a zero because the each direction is a direction of the electric field from the each corner they having a equal and opposite equivalent uh, uh, opposite charges this is the 
so net electric field is zero since electric field due to the charges at the opposite corners a such as a and h a and h opposite corners g and d b and e f and c are equal and opposite so electric field is a vector quantity they cancel each other's effect resultant will be a zero one more question calculate the work done to dissociate the system of the three charges place on the vertices of the triangle as shown in figure qb is equal to 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 10 coulomb so potential energy of a system is this is the charge q minus 4q plus 2q place on the each vertices of the triangle uh, which having a side is a 10 centimeter each means it is an equilateral triangle so potential work done equal to same as a potential energy 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 divided by r so this is the distance potential energy due to this two charges they are separated by 10 centimeter this is the value again potential energy due to the these two charges this is the value and potential energy due to this minus 4q and 2q this is a sum of all this is equal to e by substituting value of q this will be minus 2.3 into 10 raised to minus 8 joule so work done to dissociate the system of the charge equal to equal to 2.3 into 10 raised to 8 joule. Thank you.